How to make rock candy. Learning about chemistry and crystals can be fun and tasty with this simple recipe. You will need a clean piece of cotton string or twine, a clean glass jar, a paper clip or galvanized washer, a pencil, popsicle stick or skewer, one cup of water, two cups of granulated sugar, and patience. Optional, a candy thermometer, candy flavoring, and food coloring. Step one, cut your string so it is shorter than your jar. Tie one end to a weight, such as a paper clip or a galvanized washer. Step two, tie the other end of your string to a pencil or stick. Place it atop the jar so that the string hangs straight down without touching the bottom. Step three, heat water in a saucepan until it boils. Step four, add sugar one quarter cup at a time. Stir it until it is completely dissolved and the solution is clear. This may take a while, so be patient. If you have a candy thermometer, place it in the sugar solution. It should be ready at 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Step five, remove your pan from the heat and carefully pour the sugar solution into the glass jar. Fill it close to the top and let it cool. If you want to add candy flavoring or food coloring, stir in a couple drops after removing the solution from the stove, then pour it into the jar. Step six, put your jar in a cool, quiet area. It will take a week to 10 days for crystals to form on your string. Step seven, remove your string from the jar when it is covered with sugar crystals. Now you can taste the chemical principles of precipitation and evaporation for yourself. Did you know, in 2008, scientists discovered the first sugar molecule in space, 26,000 light years away, supporting the idea that life could develop on other planets.